السلام عليكم Congratulations guys, we have a new fatwa that boycott is haram. Check this out. When you, when you go to the public and say, hey guys, everyone, we should boycott so and so country, so and so company. You're, what? I had a deal with that company. They're paying us. And when we have a deal together, you're ruining that deal. And it's up to the, to the Muslim government that you cannot disobey it like that. If the Muslim government or the ruler says boycott, then yes, because he, he knows things you don't know. And they have agreements, they have taken care of it. So now he says, okay to boycott. And it happened before. But if it doesn't happen now, meaning that we don't know something. It's going to harm us if we boycott them. Yeah? So boycotting, that's why many of the ulama, they said boycotting is haram. It's not up to you, Habib. It's not up to you. The deal is between the government or the, 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 uh, the government agency, like, you know, the municipality or the department of economy or whatever. They had a deal with so-and-so com company. You come and say to the people, hey, don't buy from them. Why? Who are you? What authority do you have? It's not allowed. Tayyip. He has a long beard. An Arab head cover looks like a scholar. Nice. G give him a clap, please. <laughs> this pathetic delusion attempt has one small, tiny problem. Allah said in Quran chapter 5 verse 2, وَتَعَاوَنُوا عَلَى الْبِرِّ وَالتَّقْوَى وَلَا تَعَاوَنُوا عَلَى الْإِثْمِ وَالْعُدْوَانِ Cooperate with one another in goodness and righteousness. And do not cooperate with evil, sin, and oppression. Allah defined a group of people as oppression supporters. Please focus on this. I'm not talking about the oppressors themselves. No. I'm talking about people who support the oppressors. Allah gave them a warning in Quran chapter 11 verse 113. Do not support or incline towards those who do wrong. Or you will be touched by the hellfire. Then you would have no protectors other than Allah, nor would you be helped. A man came to Sufyan al thawri and asked him, I am a tailor and I make the clothes of the oppressive king. Am I from those who support the oppressors? Guess what was his response? He said, no, you're not from the supporters of the oppressors. You are from the oppressors themselves. The supporters of the oppressors are those who are selling you fabric and needles. When Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal was put in jail by the oppressors, the officer in charge of his prison asked him about the hadith related to the supporters of the oppressors. He asked the Imam, Am I from the supporters of the oppressors? Imam Ahmad said, No, you are one of the oppressors themselves. The supporters of the oppressors are those who make your clothes and cook your food. Ibn al Jawzi once said, Musa'id is zulm. Zalim. The supporter of an oppressor is oppressor. Learn from Moses, peace and blessing be upon him, when he said, Rabbi bima an'amta alayya falan akuna zahiran lil mujrimin. My Lord, for all your favors upon me, I will never support the oppressors. These pathetic attempts show how effective your struggle is. This attempt is the certificate of success for your effort. And regarding those who are concerned about employees in some companies getting fired, we have seen it with our own eyes that while restaurant A, for example, is struggling with its sales and laying off employees, on the other hand, restaurant B is having more business and it is hiring those who were fired yesterday. The marketplace adjusts itself. It just shifts sides. One of the friends of the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, was called Thamama ibn Athal. He was asked by the disbelievers of Mecca, Sabaut, did you get brainwashed by Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him? He said, no. I submitted my will to God and I became Muslim. And regarding our business together, you will not get one seed of wheat from me except after the permission of the Prophet of Allah. Look now at how the Western world outcasted every Russian business in one day all together like the heart of one man. Look at them and have some dignity. And for those who still don't care about participating in this struggle, Allah said in Quran chapter 9 verse 47 Had they gone forth with you, believers, they would have been nothing but trouble for you.
they would have been active among you, seeking to cause you fitna, chaos, and dissension. Some of you are listeners to them, and Allah is all-knowing of the unjust. All I can say to you is, enjoy your meal. <sighs> Share this video with your deluded friends. And if you really want to open your eyes to what's happening around you, check out our video, Pharaoh's Media Machine. Thanks and Salaam Alaikum. <laughs> اليوم تجزى كل نفس بما كسبت لا ظلم اليوم لا ظلم اليوم إن الله سريع الحساب وأنذرهم يوم الآزفة إذ الحناجر كاظمين ما للظالمين من حميم ولا شفيع يطاع يعلم خائنة الأعين وما تخفي الصدور والله يقضي بالحق والذين يدعون من دونه لا يقضون بشيء إن الله هو السميع البصير